So you can take this photo and turn it into this with just one slider. No, I'm not kidding. And this, my friend, is not a clickbait. In this video, we'll discuss one of the most versatile sliders in Luminar Neo and see how good or bad it is and also discuss its limitations. So let's jump right in. So have a look at this photo. And by the way, we have favorites in the new versions of Luminar. So let's open up Enhance AI and all you need to do is to just increase it. That's it. And once you do, have a look at it. It is all taken care of. Now, what's better is you can open it again and apply it again and it's done. So here is the before and here is the after. That, my friend, is a massive difference. Now, I wouldn't go that far. I would apply just a little bit. Now, on top of it, to make it even better, we can apply the landscape filter. Let's increase the dehaze a little bit and now increase golden R. This, my friend, is the magic. You can also enhance the foliage if you wish to, but it's too much. And there you go. Here is the before, here is the after. Just that one slider enhance AI makes a ton of difference. And by the way, whatever adjustments you make, you can go back to edits and look at those adjustments and make adjustments to those adjustments. Now, this, my friend, might not be perfect and you might want to do some other adjustments. But in two to five seconds, you can take it from here to here and that is a major deal. Now, I might have over-processed to just show the differences, but if you think the colors are too much, you can apply a lot here. We can scroll down to mood and we can apply something like, let's scroll down. I like Rosa right here. Just, it calms everything down and take a look at it. Before, after. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, keep in mind, of course, it has its limitations. Let's get to it. So, if we open this photo and if we try Enhance AI right here, see what happens. By the way, you can add any tool as your favorite. Let's say you add LUTs too much. So, let's go to Mood, right-click on it and choose Add to Favorites. There you go. It comes at the top, becomes way more convenient. Now, let's apply Enhance AI right here. As soon as we increase Accent AI, it adds this soft halo around the edge of the mountain. It may or may not look good to you. That's up to you. But for me, it is kind of bothering me a little bit. So, how do you fix this? The solution is just apply it to the point where you start seeing the things that you don't want to see. That's all. So, let's increase it. And at this point, I feel like I begin to see the halo. So, let's stop right about there. And on top of that, you can apply a little bit of Sky Enhancer AI. That's good. Now, to make it better, let's apply one of our favorite tools or filters, whatever you want to call it, and that is landscape. Increase the dehaze too much. Increase the golden R too much. Not too much because it creates these color boosted areas which are oversaturated. So let's keep it in control. And of course, you can enhance the foliage a little bit. You can change the hue of the foliage if you wish to. And there you have it. If you feel that there are some areas which are too blue, you can come down to color harmony right here. You can also use the develop as well. Let's increase the warmth a little bit. That area is getting a little better and decrease the brilliance. There you go. Now you can take masking, take the brush and just paint on the areas where you want it. So make sure paint is selected and not erase and just paint over these areas. That's all. There you go. Fixed. So here is the before. Here is the after. Much better, isn't it? One of the other limitations of Enhance AI is that it cannot read your mind. For instance, it might process your image perfectly but it does not know your artistic taste. Let's take a look at this example. If we try to apply Enhance AI right here, see what happens. So let's scroll up. Let's go to Enhance AI. Let's apply Accent AI. It looks perfect. I mean, this is what the perfect exposure or the perfect highlights or shadows will look like. But this is not how I want it to look at it. Let's apply it one more time and take a look. This looks fantastic. But it's not what I wanted. What I wanted was maybe in this case was to have a silhouette of the land and the animals and have an epic sunset background. But Enhance AI, of course, doesn't know my taste. So here's how I would do it. Let's go to Actions and Revert to Original. And now I would simply just decrease the exposure. That's all. Let's go to Develop and decrease the exposure, decrease the shadows. You can try experimenting with highlights and see what that does. You can decrease it, the exposure even further. And then we can go to Sky Replacement. So let's go to Sky AI. Where is that? Oh, we added it to Favorites at the top. Anyway, so let's go to Sky AI. So I'm going to add from this set called Colorful Sunrises. By the way, if you're interested in it, you can check the link in the description. Pretty amazing, pretty affordable as well. Amazing collection of skies. So let's scroll down. Let's choose something like this. And that looks nice. What about this? Choose any one that you like. So let's go with this one. And if you look closely, the sky isn't digging in too much. It needs to come down a little bit. So let's open up sky orientation and just change the horizon position. Let's bring it down. 
And there you have it. Maybe this is what you wanted. Maybe you wanted a red sky. My point is, Enhance AI does not know your artistic taste and what you want to do with your image. And that just proves that AI will not take over. Your creativity will remain uniquely yours. Now with portraits, Enhance AI can be a little iffy. So if you open up Enhance AI and apply Accent AI a little bit, it does a fantastic job of bringing back the clouds, add some more color to the sand, and it looks nice. Let's increase the sky enhancer as well. And there you go, that's all we had to do. So here's the before, here's the after, just makes the image pop. And of course, we will combine it with landscape, dehaze, and slight bit of golden R. There you go, before, after. In this case, it worked. But what about something like this? Let's go to edit, and if we try enhance AI right here, a little bit looks okay. But if you add too much, the sky looks amazing, the subject looks amazing, but it creates a faded effect over the subject. I absolutely love what it's doing to the rest of the image, but it also created a halo around the subject. Let's apply it one more time to see what it's doing. It seriously does a good job, but only if it didn't create the halo or the faded effect on the subject, this would have been so, so perfect. So what would I do in this case? Just simply decrease the accent AI a little bit and then dehaze it a little bit, just dehaze, and it fixes most of the issues. To remove the halos further, you can try this. You can come to Relight AI and open that, and you can try controlling the brightness of the nearby and far away areas. So if you make the nearby areas or the subject a little darker, it kind of helps. And let's make this overall area bright. So let's increase the brightness of the far away areas, and it kind of fixes that. There you go. On top of that, of course, you can add some contrast, some LUTs, that's up to you. The moral of the story is, Enhanced AI, particularly Accent AI, may not be perfect, but it gets you to a fantastic starting point. And for some images like the landscape that we tested, it just creates incredible results. In a previous video, we applied it to a landscape and this was the result. It was just bonkers. So I highly recommend testing it out. And by the way, if you're interested in checking out Luminar Neo, check the link in the description for the highest discount possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.